Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video regarding Colgate Palmolive India and prior to me proceeding would just like to mention that this is an educational channel. All views are expressed over here are for educational purposes only. So please do not make or take any financial decisions based on the views expressed over here. Kindly consult your financial advisor before you take any financial decision. Also read the disclaimer below. With that said, let's proceed. So as you can see on my screen, I've got the monthly chart of Colgate Palmolive open. The first thing that I would draw is a trend line because I think the trend line is going to break. So, so this is the trend line and as you can see it's broken out of this trend line. The next thing that we would do is uh, this is the low or uh, the COVID low. As you can see the stock was riding significantly high uh, in the month of November 2019 pre-pandemic it was already at it had already touched above 1600 levels but when the pandemic hit it came down to a low of 1077 so we will take the pandemic low and we will draw a Fibonacci retracement so let's consider this low okay so this is what we get we currently seem to be exactly sitting at the 50% line I'll make a horizontal line over here and also mark it so that it's easier for us to see and the next support for it if it breaks that horizontal line be 0.618 which will be over here all right and if it bounces off from here then the next support the, the, the next resistance will be over here so with that said let me just uh, get rid of the Fibonacci now because we don't need it. So we'll get rid of that. So this is what it looks like. Th the more interesting bit is what I'm about to say a little later. So this is what Colgate Palmolive looks like. If, uh, if we want to make this a little more visible, I can make that. So let's give this uh, some, some dots. Okay, so now it's more visible. So this will be the lines that we need to check. All right, one more. Here we go. So these are the important uh, zones for uh, Colgate Palmolive. If you want, I can uh, I can put this uh, tag also over here, price label, so that it's uh, more visible to everybody somebody had mentioned that uh, this was not visible so there here we go uh, okay so it should be more visible now so these are the levels that we are discussing here we go okay so if it breaks the current support the next level that it will come to is 1358 it's currently very close to its support at 1444 it's currently sitting at 1461 another 25 rupees below and it will break the support and the upper resistance right now is at 1535 all right let's zoom out of this view and uh, the one possibility i see over here is again don't count me on this and this is a very vague possibility but why not highlight it if i can all right so that will be this will be the head sorry shoulder this will be the head and this will be the neck shoulder and it has broken out of this all right let me try give it one more attempt so this will be the shoulder this is the head and this is another shoulder and it has broken down and it will further drop down below now all right that is one possibility but uh, let's rule that out for now we will go to some interesting facts regarding colgate palmolive by going and checking the stock on screener i have also drawn this chart on uh, on uh, trading view and this is how it looks on the monthly view in trading view again it's it's visible over here that it is broken out of this trend line support now the interesting bit is when we go to colgate palmolive and check it on screener the important bits that I would want you to check is the PE ratio. The current PE ratio is at 37.4. All right. Now, what we'll go and do is we will check the 10 year PE ratio and what is the median of the 10 year PE ratio. So, the 10 year 
median of the P ratio is at 43.8 and currently it's at 37.4. So currently it's at, it's available at below its 10 year median PE. What is the max PE that we can see? So if, if we do the max, the median PE comes out to 40.3 and it is still currently lower than it is. Uh, it's, uh, I think this median PE is taken from 2008. So it's lower than that as well. So that would be 2008, 18, close to 20, uh, close to 15 year uh, median P is at 40.3 and currently it's lower than that. All right. The price to book, the maximum median price to book is 32.2 and currently it's at 23.9. If you do the 10 year view on the price to book, the median is at 24.8. And currently it's at 24.1 so it's at the value zone currently all right now the reason that the stock may not be going up significantly high is because the growth is slow if you look at the quarterly results you will find that it, it's growing at turtle pace you will also find the net profit slowly growing you'll find the EPS slowly growing if you look at the yearly results as well between 2000 uh, March 2011 and March 2022 it is grown say 2.25 or 2.5 x so it was 1 rupee it's become 2.5 rupees that's all it's not like other companies that have grown like 10 times in the last 10 years there are some companies that have grown this is a slow mover it moves very slowly but it keeps moving up all right because the the net profit in march 2020 2011 was 403 crores in march 2022 2022 it was 10, 10 uh, 1078 crores and the eps in march 2011 was 14.80 and the eps in march 2022 was 39.65 so the growth has been 2.5 times all right the next thing to consider is promoter holding promoter holding we can see that uh, the holding of the promoters is exactly where it is there's no change fis have increased the stake in, uh, since December 2021, they have gone up by 3%. DIS have marginally gone down by about 1.5-2%. Government is uh, where it is. Marginal increase, I think. Public is about 2% lower. So the shareholding pattern also, there are insignificant changes in the shareholding pattern. So I think the stock has come to the value zone right now. And uh, if we again go to the first chart that we are seeing, let us uh, you know zone mark this where we'll find value in this stock A excellent value this is the excellent value zone the excellent value zone is from its current price to 1357 so anywhere between uh, let me say this way anywhere between 135060 to 145060 is the value zone for uh, Colgate Palmolive or let's say 1350 to 1450 is the value zone for Colgate Palmolive it is sitting at the upper limit of that zone currently I don't see the stock significantly falling from its current levels it will marginally go down maybe a hundred rupees from here if something significantly goes wrong with the world if there's some drastic news or something it may go down by 100 150 rupees that's maximum lower side that I can see on the stock from its current levels I don't see it crashing down significantly it's been a household name for ages. Everybody knows about Colgate. So I think people should keep this on their watch list and start buying small quantities at its current level because there's definitely value in the Colgate Palmolive stock. Looking at the, the P analysis and the price to book analysis that we've done over the last 10 years. So unless there is some severe re-rating happening in the stock, uh, you know, where we need to value it at a lower level, at the current level studying the last 10 years it is at its value zone so unless we we change how we view colgate palmolive we want to devalue it and not give it the current p's or the averages of the last 10 10 years to 15 years then that's a separate issue the, the stock we need to find a new price zone for itself but i don't think that's going to happen as well so in my view it's at good levels to start accumulating uh, small quantities the higher the drop the more we buy 
so that will be my view on Colgate Palmolive. Keep it in your watch list and start accumulating small quantities at every dip. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your family and friends as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.